Yes, guys, and we are back with another Football Manager 24 tactic that I know you guys will like. So make sure you are hitting the like button. Make sure you subscribe as well. And also comment. Let me know what other tactics you would like to see. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. So all of this does help people. Don't forget as well to make sure you check all the social media platforms. The links are in the description. TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch, where I'm streaming Football Manager Monday to Friday, 4 p.m. GMT. I'll see you guys over there. Make sure you are joining the Discord as well and also checking out the Patreon. The links are in the description, people. But let's stop wasting time and let's get into the breakdown of this new perfect tactic. And here we are with the first team we have tested a tactic with. We are with Sunderland in the Championship. And as you can see, Sunderland have won the Championship and are back in the Premier League for the first time since the 2016 to 2017 season. In terms of games, they played 46 games, won 30, drawn 5 and lost 11. They did score... 98 goals but did concede 48 goals having a goal difference of 50 95 points it's been a very good season for Sunderland and we move straight into the team statistics we can see the most goals we have Sunderland in third place with 98 goals Norwich did score 104 and Hull City surprisingly getting 116 we go for most shots we have Sunderland in third place there fewest shots against Sunderland in third place once again best pass completion not there most possession not there most tackles won not there most dribbles made, they are in fourth place. Most clean sheets, they are joint third with Leicester on 18. And then fewest conceded, they are third. We move straight over into the player statistics and the player breakdowns. And we can see the most goals. We have Russin in second place, picking up 32 goals. One behind Liam Delap, who is from Man City, on loan to Hull City. Hence why Hull City probably scored a lot of goals. Then we have most assists. We have our player in second place, picking up 15 assists. Most shots, we have Russin again in second place with 97. Most ma player of the matches, we actually have Jack Clark in first place with nine. And then Russin joint sit with six player of the matches. Most key passes, we have two players there. Patrick Roberts in fifth place and a player in second place as well. Best pass completion, no one there. Most tackles won, no one there. Most dribbles made, we have Jack Clark joint seventh with 120. Most clean sheets, we have Patterson joint third with 17 clean sheets. In terms of is conceded we have Patterson in joint fourth place and we move straight over into the data hub and as you can see we have goals per game 2.13 we have non-penalty expected goals per 90 1.98 conceded per game 1.04 and expected goals against per game 0.97 and then shots per game 12.89 and for the player of the season I would have to give it to Russin he did score 33 goals and get five assists in 48 games as well as picking up six man of the matches it's been a very good season for him winning the championship and getting to the Premier League. You can see Patterson play out from the back and watch this beautiful goal right here. Patterson pushes them up, baits it, love that. Ballard back to the other centre half into the DM. Boom, there we have it. He bar on the ball, Clark on the ball, plays it into the space, plays it across the box and then finish. And in terms of the rest of the season for Sunderland, you are not really expecting them to do anything in the FA Cup and Carabao Cup. They did face Liverpool in the third round losing and then got to the Carabao Cup quarterfinal and did lose to Tottenham Hotspurs. But let's stop wasting time and let's get into the second team we have tested the tactic with. And for the second team, we are with RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga. And as you can see, RB Leipzig getting 79 points in the Bundesliga. Goal difference of 49. They did score the most goals with 68 and conceded the least with 26 as well. So very, very good season for Leipzig. In terms of the game they played, 34 games played, 25 wins, four draws and five losses we go straight into the team statistics and here you can see rb leipzig with 68 goals top of the list most shots for they are in second place fewest shots against they were actually first place with 188 best pass completion there were nowhere to be seen there most possession nowhere to be seen most tackles won nowhere there most dribbles made in fourth place with 503 most clean sheets they were second place with 14 and then fewest conceded they did only concede 26 goals in 34 games beautiful season for Leipzig and looking at the player stats we can see Openda in second place with 16 goals in terms of most assists we have David Rom in fifth place picking up 10 and we have Danny Olmo in seventh place picking up nine most shots we have Openda and Timo Werner in third and fourth most player of the matches we have Openda joint second in terms of most key passes we have Danny Olmo in fourth place in terms of best pass completion no one there most tackles won, no one there. Most dribbles made, no one there. Most clean sheets, we have our keeper in first place with 14 clean sheets. And then fewest conceded, our goalkeeper in second place. He did play all the games, 
Neuer did not play all the games, he played 27. So he conceded four more than Neuer in seven more games. So not a bad season for RB Leipzig. We go straight into the data hub and we can see goals per game is a solid number of two. Non-penalty expected goals per game, 1.77. Conceded per game, 0.76. Expected goals against per game, 0.74. And shots per game, 12.59. So it's a very similar data hub to Sunderland. And for the player of the season, I think I'm giving it to Danny Omo. There are a few players that could get in this team. But Danny Omo did play 42 games, got 8 goals and 11 assists and got 4 player of the matches. So a very good season for the midfielder slash winger, depending on where you want to play him. In terms of the rest of the competitions, you can see that RB Leipzig obviously won the Bundesliga. They did meet Man City in the round of 16 of the Champions League. They was never getting past them. In terms of the Pokal, they did eventually get to the semi-final but lost to Bayern Munich. And then the Super Cup, they were the runners up. And finally, we'll move into the third team we have tested this tactic with right now. In terms of the last team we have tested the tactic with, we are with Schalke. We have gone down to the Bundesliga 2. They were relegated last season, but they are back up using this perfect tactic. They played 34 games, won 23, drawn 8, and only lost 3 games. They scored the most goals in the league, second most, sorry, with 68, and conceded the least, only conceding 23 goals. A crazy goal difference of 45 and 77 points. Great season for Schalke. They are back in the Bundesliga. Moving straight into the team statistics, we can see Schalke obviously in second place with 68. Most shots they are in second place. Fewest shots against they are first place, well joint first place. Best pass completion they are not there. Most possession they are not there. Most tackles won they are seventh place. Most dribbles made they are in first place. Most clean sheets, 17 clean sheets this season only playing 34 games so every other game was a clean sheet for them in terms of fewest conceded they only conceded 23 goals in 34 matches in terms of the player stats we can see our striker is there with 24 goals this season joint with someone else in terms of the most assist we have a player in fifth place joint with four other players most shots our striker is there with 90 then most man of the matches we have a player in sixth place joint with three other players most key passes we have one player in second place there with 74 in terms of best pass completion, no one there. Most tackles won, we actually got two players there in third and joint fifth. Most dribbles made, we have a player in eighth. Most clean sheets, we have our goalkeeper with 17 clean sheets, man like Muller. And then fewest conceded, we have Muller joint with someone else in first place. And we move straight over into the data hub and this looks very similar to the other two we have seen. We have goals per game on two, non-penalty expected goals per game 1.59, conceded per game 0.68, Expected goals against per game, 0.91, and then shots per game, 11. And in terms of the player of the season, we have to give it to Simon Trerod. As you can see, the 36-year-old absolutely dominated the Bundesliga too. In 30 games, he scored 26 goals and got three assists, as well as getting three man of the matches, man. Very good season for him, if we're being honest. At 36, you can't really complain. He's back in the Bundesliga. So we did face Herbert Berlin and we absolutely smashed them 5-0. And here are some of the goals quickly for you guys to see. But before we go anywhere, people, make sure once again that you are leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And like I always say, this does help the algorithm a lot. Make sure you are checking out all the social media platforms, the TikTok, the Twitter, and the Twitch, where I'm streaming Football Manager Monday to Friday. You guys will love the vibes. Come over, go get your song request in. There's question of the days. A lot's going on in the streams. The streams are very lit, and the vibes are insane. So make sure you're following the Twitch. Make sure you check out the Discord as well and the Patreon. All the links are in the description. But let's stop wasting time and let's break down this tactic so I can explain how you guys can use this perfect 433 version 2. And here we are with the perfect 433 version 2. First up, we have a sweeper keeper on support with the instructions, tackle harder. We have a left back who is a wing back on support with the instructions, tackle harder, sit narrower, shoot less often and cross into the center with the exact same instructions for our right back who is also a wing back on support and we have two ball playing defenders with the instructions shoot less often and tackle harder then we have a ball winner midfielder on defend with no further instructions we 
You have an advanced playmaker on support with the instructions tackle harder and also roam from position. And we have a centre mid on attack with the instructions tackle harder. We have two inside forwards, one on the support on the left and one on attack on the right. In terms of the one on the left, he is told to cross aim to the centre, stay wider and also tackle harder. Our inside forward on the right, we have told him cross aim to the centre, sit narrower and tackle harder. And we have an advanced forward up front with the instructions take more risks. In terms of the tactical style, it is a clean slate, but it doesn't matter. It can be whatever you'd want to be. Once you start changing the in possession, in transition, and out possession, it will change, so it doesn't actually matter. Mentality is a balanced mentality. In possession, we are going with pass into space, focus played on the left and right, play out defense, passing direct in the standard, tempo slightly higher, final third, whipped crosses, run at defense, and be more expressive. In in transition, we are going with counter press, counter, distribute the ball to the fullbacks and the center backs, and also throw it long. In terms of our possession, we are going with a high press, higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Guys, make sure you are leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. Don't forget, you can download the tactic. The link is in the description. Also, people, make sure you are joining up the Discord, man. And I'll see you guys over on the Twitch, Monday to Friday, streaming Football Manager. Love, people.